What is going on, you lunatics? Let's talk about a couple of things here real quick. We're going to try to do this really fast. I keep telling you that, and I keep going long, but let's do it quicker this time. Uh, make sure you like, hit the like button on your way in if you like this type of content, and let's kick it off. All right, first up, the SEC enforcement hit $4.7 billion this year. This is how disingenuine it is in the United States. Uh, the Terraform Labs settlement was $4.7 billion, uh, so the SEC crypto enforcement collected $4.7 billion. So the SEC is basically worthless at this point. There's nothing that it does of value to, to anything or anybody, any community. It's, just, it's, it's disgusting. However, uh, that does mean that they did recover the money and they got the money from Duquan. So uh, that's closing a chapter here. And the biggest chapter is this right here. 1 billion USTC are about to burn and 257 billion Luna Classic are about to burn. Now, there is some voting that's up right now, or at least there's some proposal for some voting up right now uh, in which Happy Caddy Crypto is pointing out, you know, these uh, there's a few burns that could be done uh, in the meantime, the mirror protocol lunk that's sitting there or USTC that's sitting there and the anchor protocol USTC that's sitting there. So that's an addition to the 1 billion that's sitting in the Terraform Labs wallet. Uh, and, and I think what he said was, we don't have to wait for that. And I don't know what the difference is, but um, if we're if we're talking about burning, if we're talking about creating enthusiasm, then I'm all for it. I just don't understand why, um, it, you know, if, if it's already going to happen no matter what, then it's already going to happen no matter what and doesn't take a vote for that. So I'm not really sure. Uh, what the, the, I, I, I can't be, I don't know for sure that this is a thing or not a thing. And that's, uh, this is the thing right here. Chris further states, he can't be 100% certain someone else in TFL doesn't have access to these wallets. Burning would be the best option. So, uh, that is intention that, that is very possible that it could happen, but then that really kind of deflates what was getting ready to happen anyway. So, and, and I don't care at the end of the day, what matters is, uh, there's going to be a, a large burn. Now, is it a billion or is it, are we just jumping the shark here and making it 800 million right now so that 200 million can burn later? I, you know, um, it, 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 it's complicated. So we'll figure it out. And uh, it's not up for proposal. The, these proposals are not up for a vote yet, but um, you know, it should be known that we're about to burn a significant amount. And uh, let's go uh, skip around here. 275 billion in the course of the last couple of years, we burned 132 billion. So we're about to triple this number in very short order, uh, just to uh, j just by burning uh, those you know that next drop. So that is significant when it comes to the overall supply drop in the bucket in the in the trillions category, but it's still significant. So uh, shout out when it gets done. Um, as far as other proposals go on, improved security framework, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, there is a list right here: improved security solution framework for L1 development. Uh, there's upgrade to 3.1.5, integrate rule set for secure, inclusive, classic Terra One L development. Uh, there's a lot suddenly happening here. And by the way, uh, they're I, I don't have the the other than BLV Labs. I don't have the other name of the company, so uh, we're not gonna release them until un, until everything is done. The KYC is done. Signaling proposal creation of a collateral pool. Uh, now the maximum validators has been increased. By the way, so you had 69% voting yes. You had. Uh, all nodes voting no, no kidding, no kidding. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so uh, very, very interesting uh, when you start to really kind of pay attention to what's going on. All nodes doesn't want petition. They don't want it to be less centralized. I, I don't understand the, the reason for the no vote. So over the next few months, there's going to be several major announcements for Cryptonomy.finance. Guys, the bull run is about to kick off. That is a big deal. And in conjunction with that, I am continuing to accumulate more and more of my favorite cryptocurrencies. Let me show you what happened. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin off of this in over six months. I staked 0.21 Bitcoin right here and got 0.0124 on a three month window. Now I'm gonna make another deposit because as you can see here, I'm big on XRP. We're gonna do one more big XRP deposit, 10,000 more XRP, six month staking process. That's a 32% yield. Also, let me show you, I just made a withdrawal here uh, 0.09 Bitcoin off of my last flexible staking option and finally and this is the big one guys I keep telling you this it's the launch pool get into the launch pool create a contract I'm gonna make a new contract with six ethereum right now it's a bronze contract profit sharing is 50 50 we're gonna do that right now done all right guys. 
that's what we're doing. We've got a bunch of these set up. Remember this last one that I completed. Uh, I, look, I can't tell you how important it is for you to stay or crypto. You see the numbers right there. Start staking with Cryptonomy.Finance today. Very interesting to see it though. Uh, but let's move on to our uh, meme coins you can see over here. Now, uh, remember my boy's coin was about 50 bucks originally and it is now up to 184. Uh, my food was also 50. It's now 92. Uh, Juris was 50. Now it's 55. So, you know, these things continue to get little pumps every single day and continue to move and move and move. Hamster meme up 30% on the day as well. So uh, significant movement coming over here on meme coins. And I do want to point out something with the boys, but we'll get there in just a second. So anyway, price action. Let's talk about that real quick. So you know, we've, we're doing exactly what I told you that we were going to do so far. I don't know the continuation of it. The market, look, the market to me feels good, but it could end up being just a little bit cooked. It was down about 14 billion last night, came back. It was positive for a little while. U.S. market now on the clock right now, and you're starting to see it uh, getting drained. Of course, they put $70 billion into the market yesterday, 80 billion, something like that by the end of the day. So it was a, it was a, a pretty large day, and that usually results in a lot of profit taking along the way so it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens over here but uh, as far as lump goes we're up 83 team that's up 2.35 uh, percent on the day USTC not exactly breaking out but having a nice move again as well uh, went up to 0.177 uh, for a little while earlier and Luna is having a little bit of a breakout because of the reality of this is starting to sink in. It's up almost 10% on the day. Now, one only has to go back and start adding number of days along the way here and realize that, you know, this, this pump right here, that's not significant because, you know, this is where we were not that long ago. So, you know, again, when, when somebody gets super excited about it, maybe you bought the bottom, sure, take your profit along the way because historically, price continues to go down. Uh, and by the way, there is a trend reversal playing out, but we've seen trend reversals before. We saw a trend reversal right here, ended up becoming a big dump. So, you know, we don't get excited about anything until we actually see a break in a positive direction. Now, um, let's remove the EMAs. Uh, again, I suspect that we're going to be testing around 95 for the EMAs pretty soon. Close that out. And this is what it looked for Luna Classic. So, uh, another move up into 86 right here seems to be on tap. Uh, once that's done, we'll, we'll get a. I think we get a wick up into the 95, 96 range, and then we get a settlement down here in that 9,000 range for a short period of time. Now, of course, it, it could you know it could be just a matter of a day or two. Uh, I'm not talking about we're going to just trend a long period of time. That's just the next bounce sort of region. So uh, a lot of positivity going on with Luna Classic. Hopefully, it's going to translate into uh, a big and significant move. Now. Uh, as far as volume goes, we're up 141 cent, 22 million on the day, uh, up totally 5% so far. Same thing with USTC, up 161%. So there is some interest. Now, the question would be, of course, let's come over here to the markets and let's see which market is it. And it, as always, it's Binance. We got XT.com with 3 million. We got GroveX with 2.7 million. So there, uh, you know, most of this volume here is coming from Binance, which is uh, uh, whitelisted. So... Um, there's no burns or anything that's going to come from that other than increased volume and that increased volume will lead to them burning a significant portion of supply. So at least there's that, I suppose. Uh, as far as burns go, 169 million. And we, we talked about it before. There was a lot uh, to unpack there. We, we have a potential for tripling the amount of burns we have total. Um, and by the way, if you're going to burn some of your token, go to Terra Casino. Uh, Terracino.io. We've got quite a few signups, but you, you, I mean you, you need to sign up today uh, and start going over here and use your Luna. What are you doing with your Luna? You're not doing anything with it. Use your Luna. Come over here, do a little bit of trading. Also, uh, finance, this is where you go for the meme coins. You can see all of these. And by the way, I was having a conversation. I'm looking for, you know, there's an opportunity here for liquid staking, farming. Uh, maybe you should consider if you're doing uh, something with your uh, lunk, or if you're not doing anything with your lunk, maybe, maybe, uh, come to Terraport and stake it over here and, you know, start that liquid staking protocol or yield farming protocol over here 
earn yourself a little bit while you're sitting on it. Now, you have a choice, should you do it with a validator or should you do it with Terraport or, you know, one of these, uh, you know, and, and not validate, but but use one of these protocols. Decision that you need to make. But I'm not happy with Station and, you know, everything going on with Terraform Labs, so we got to find something else. By the way, I was told that the Kepler wallet, K-E-P-L-R, is the good wallet that people seem liking right now to use the Cosmos ecosystem, and it includes uh, uh, Terra Luna Classic. In addition, it should be noted that it is an interchain wallet, which means that it has something like 41 different blockchains that it's integrated with. So um, uh, if you haven't already, consider using a Kepler. Uh, anyway, let's check out the boys. All right, so a real quick update on the boys coin. The contract has been renounced. The liquidity pull was burned the other day. It's up 27% in the last 24 hours. Uh, you're starting to see a little move here and it continues and continues and continues to move up this ladder, if you will. And uh, there's been a pretty good opportunity for an entry position. By the way, look, I never tell you to buy the top. I would never tell you to do that. However, um, it's not that high right now. There's plenty of opportunity here for this thing to grow. So let me also show you. Now we did this yesterday, but wanted to come back over here and check it out one more time. And uh, there you go. So um, this is the boys website. And look, a lot of fun uh, can be had. It's a meme coin, just like anything else. You see Homelander, you see the, 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 the boys on the coin, stuff like that. You know, um, it's a meme coin. So jump yourself into it. Check, it. check it out. Look, I put in 50 bucks. It's $184 already. Now, that's not life-changing money. I know that. You know that. But you know what? At some point, life-changing money starts coming into this, uh, into this thing right now. When you come in... I'm at $884. So if you pump my bag and it goes up 3X again, that's $550. And if you pump that bag 3X, that's $1,662. So what are you waiting for? Go get the boys coin. All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Uh, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. A lot of burns happening. Uh, it's going to be pretty big and it's going to be epic when all of this kind of settles in. So uh, put your seatbelt on because the ride's about to get crazy.